So uh, this is a like country countryside, but we are heading uh, to Tassel Road. What's the name of the, the fruit farm that we're going to pick the berries at? Um, it's the same as the um, the place that I called the towing truck yesterday, Morris. Morris. Morris Berry Farm. Morris Berry Farm. So, you know, this is one of those things when it comes to like, like how I live in the RV and trying to be frugal and afford organic um, fruits and vegetables. This is worth it for me to drive 12 miles out here to pick my own berries. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just worth it. Um, I have been finding awesome ways to save money. Uh, to be able to sustain the lifestyle I'm able to sustain without having to fully grow all my own food. I don't need a homestead to live this way. And, and I, I hope I'm teaching you, friends, how to do that also. Northeast. So look how pretty this is. So this uh, Morris is a winery and vineyard. Yeah, vineyard. I sure would like to pick some grapes. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, right? Grapes. All right, beautiful, look at this, so pretty. Here we are, Tennessee Mountain View Winery. Look at this. Oh. I hope this is where we're picking the... Yeah, this is it. I hope this is where we're picking it. That's what she said. Look at, oh, look at the great... They have this in uh, Canada, too. Right over the border, vineyards like this. Look at this. Oh, wow. This is, look at the backdrop. Gorgeous. Are all grapes. Awesome. Weird how grapes. Yeah. So pretty. I don't now see anybody picking drink wine. No, no, no wine drinking. Are we sure this is the place to pick the berries? I don't know. It said berry place. I said blueberries, but maybe she said Charleston. This is the only berry place in Charleston. The other one. That's why I asked you if it was the other one with the C. Oh, I don't this know. Is winery. Oh brother, this don't look like there there's oh, a place to pick. Oh yeah, there's there they're picking over there. They're picking over there. There we go. We're in the right place. We are. We're good. We just park right over here. Awesome. Oh look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, Marito. We're at the winery to pick some yeah. berries. So we'll be back. Okay, they got little buckets here. See, they got little buckets. We get our little bucket. Pray that the rain stays away. Here. You pick. Hi, are you the you pick guy? You pick berries. You're a customer. Oh, <laughs> well, you would be good. I knew she was gonna do that. You would be good. Whatever you got. Let's see. I think we just. I'll make it up. Yeah, there you go. You make it up. <laughs> back here, back there. Oh really? Uh, you got blackberries back there. Oh okay. Some raspberries maybe back there. Okay, I want the blueberries. We well, just picked the. Uh, a couple of rows over here. They were Are they? Look at this. There's uh, raspberries and blueberries. We got muscadines, which is the wine grape. So pretty. So these are blackberries, and they're loaded, but they're not ripe. There's these uh, are not ripe. So I'm gonna keep walking until we get some ripe ones. Very few ripe ones. So, um, there are some blackberries. They're a little on the, on the tart side. I, I don't know, I can't decide. I can't decide. It looks like they need to ripen up a little bit. Ripe. 
I mean, that's sour. Okay, we'll, we'll wait on the raspberries, or the blackberries. Ugh. So here's the blueberries. Oh, yeah. They're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're ready for the picking. These, these are, these are ripe. Look at how beautiful. Look at that. We'll see how far we get. Yeah, yeah. Look at how good he is. Are you, are you my guy? Are you my little guy? I'm gonna go down here a little bit further. We're, we're hitting some good bushes. We're hitting some very good bushes. Well, it wouldn't be a starry day without uh, me uh, dropping my blueberries. <laughs> At least some of them. I, thought I, I was just telling my sister, I said, isn't it awful when you pick a whole bunch of blueberries and then you drop them? Yeah, or you get the really big ones in your hands and then they fall out. Yeah, oh, I hate that. So it's not too bad. Look at Mario. He's so cute. He is. Everybody loves Mario. We're, uh, we're still looking for that bandana that says Jesus loves you. So somehow my sister's a really good berry picker. <laughs> Look at this is her pail. This is mine. I thought and, you said you were the and fastest I got, berry picker. I got those those two. Well, I was eating a lot. Oh yeah, there you go. You know, I just couldn't help it. I had mango for breakfast and I didn't get a shake or my juice yet, so so we're pulling in and the truck is still in front of the RV. <laughs> He's still working on it. And it's been three hours. And we picked a whole well bunch of berries. Well, he has got all the boxes out, so he's, he's still working still on, on it. On the one side. And his car's still here, so that's good. He, Christy said that he probably went for lunch. Because they probably take a lunch break. Oh. oh. What, what what does that look like? Not good? No, it doesn't look huh? good. He's got the other tire off. I hope he's got the other side done. Oh. Uh, it's just not one side. Looks like I'll be staying here again. Yeah, looks like we'll be staying here again tonight. Yeah. All right, we're gonna pray that uh, we just prayed that we'll be able to get on our way. And even my sister said, you know, we're we're kind of lucky that we both don't really like. I don't have a job. And in a way, yeah, is that is that lucky? I guess that is lucky. Yeah, no luck. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's a blessing. In, 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 I, I don't say that all the time, but every now and then, every now and I, I I slip up. But okay, we'll go get our freezer. Well, we may be living here. She says we'll be in here just a minute. He's got two of the rotors off. So this might not be good. There he is. There he goes. Maybe he's getting help. So, so is this look bad or like what is this? Well, we, <laughs> do you have bad news? I do. Oh boy. Yeah, a message? No. I called and texted you. Oh no well, way. Get no yeah. At yeah. No, uh, all those parts, they're all wrong. What? Yeah. New parts will be here at four o'clock today, four thirty. They're all wrong. Every one of them. Rotors yep. wrong. Caliber's wrong, brake pads. Oh boy. Wrong. Yeah, if you want to step over here. And yeah, 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 yeah. Show you yeah. Oh, there's a difference right there. Oh. You see how this has got bolts? That yeah. one don't got bolts. Oh. This feature comes off. Right? And then right here, I mean, heck, you can just tell by looking at it that it's totally different. Oh, wow. So okay. we call it O'Reilly's and they got yeah. all the right parts. And, uh, okay. They'll be here at like 4, 4.30. So what did you tell the guys who um, who sent this stuff? I mean, was it their fault? I mean, we tried. So the update on the RV is the rotors are wrong, all the stuff is wrong, but um, they'll get the parts at 4 o'clock and then we'll be on our way. So you know what? God is still good. God is still good. We're still praising Him because it could be worse. It could always be worse. And, you know, because I don't have a job. <laughs> It's not like I have to be anywhere, but Christy needs to get home, and we didn't want her on the highway late at night. But we're just going to pray about it, and maybe she'll just have to stay an extra day. Yeah, I mean, I'll just have to call my doctor. Yeah, she needs to go see the doctor, but, you know, we'll just pray about it, and, and we'll just, we always say, wait on God. God is sovereign over everything, so, you know, and praise the Lord that we're here, and they, they, they know what they're doing, yeah. which is a good thing, which is a good thing.